Just a friendly game of cards. It doesn't take much to buy into this game, but buying out may be something else entirely. You see, there's a wild card on the table in a deck that's been reshuffled and cut in the Twilight Zone. King High Straight. Can you beat it? Full house. Six is over, Jax. Oh. Believe it. Another full house. <laughs> hey, uh, 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 Nick, right? Yeah, Nick. Uh, who'd you say you were here for? Here for? Yeah, who are you sitting in for? Oh, 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 Norman. He's my cousin. All right, Norman. He's sick, huh? Yep. <laughs> Shirley made him stay home. <laughs> All right. Time to wake up here. See if we can't goof things up. Maybe change the game. What do you mean, change the game? I mean, it's Sheila's choice, and I want to play another game. There ain't no other game, man. We're playing poker. That's the oh, game. Yeah, have a five-card stud all the time. I mean, it ain't the only game in town, you know. I know that. You think I don't know that? Oh, uh, what do you got in mind, anyway? Night baseball? <laughs> yeah, that's what I got in mind. I don't believe it. A weenie game? I watch night baseball. That's a game they play in Weenie City, where Tony's from. Eat tight. I'm gonna go get me a beer. You girls work this out. Ain't that the game we get all the cards down, you can't look at them? Yeah. Nine's wild. My grandmother plays that. Oh, lay off, will you? She's in a nursing home. <laughs> oh, Peter, I told you, knock it off. Oh, 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 hey, uh, Peter, Peter, you're out of beer. Where's the beer? So we're out of beer. Uh, whose house is this anyway? Uh, you are supposed to provide beer? Right out. Assuming. Do I play all the cards at once? Oh, no. Marty, no. You turn the cards up one at a time, and you bet every time. You got it? Tony, get off it, man. Let's, are we going to talk, fellas, or are we going to play cards? Right, Let's fine, go. Fine, Let's fine, go. Fine. We'll play five cards start like we always do. Forget I said anything. Forget I tried to bring any variety into your otherwise dreary lives. Forget I tried to teach you anything. All right, Marty, you got a king. Open it. Five card stud with drop dead. How a guy can run out of beer in his own house, you know, it is a mystery to me. Yeah, I'm sorry, all right? I, I drank some this afternoon. There's another six for Nick there. Another six? What is it with you and sixes? Hey, uh, did you guys see that movie that was all about poker? Uh, Streetcar Called Desire. It was on TV. A guy in it says to his wife, don't nothing belong on a poker table except cards and whiskey. <laughs> Crack me up. <laughs> it's a super story, Marty. Uh, how come you drank today? Well, you know, nothing to do, and you know, the TV's broke. Well, get a job, Peter. I told you, the market's soft. Your head's soft. Uh, Pete, does your wife uh, have a job? Uh, Pete don't like to talk about his wife there. I'm sorry, Pete. Something happened. Oh, she's fine. It's... You just don't like her very much. You know? uh, I fold. Peter, where's the head? Same place it was an hour ago, Marty. Right. Another six for Nick. It's a pair. Another six? What is it with you, guy? I mean, I don't want to sound improprietous, but you get a hell of a lot of sixes for one guy. Really? <laughs> I haven't even noticed. Uh, what the fault is. Uh, Pete, do you have any water? Yeah, in the kitchen. Keeping the faucet saves on space, you know? <laughs> right. right. Excuse me, darling. I know it. Something's up with that guy. Yeah, like that last hand he won. Six is over, Jax. Matter of fact, it seems to me that every hand he has won, three sixes has had something to do with it. Six, six, six. It ain't normal, a guy getting three sixes every hand. 
And I think we all know what three sixes has been known to mean. Right? Oh, yeah. The evil sign or something. Six, six, six. All right. So maybe if a guy got thinking, maybe if he didn't know better, maybe he might think that Nick was the devil. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, let's be really sure. Beyond an absolute doubt. <clears throat> Peter, look under his down card. <clears throat> Wait a minute, you can't do that. We're still playing. Tony, maybe this is more important, huh? Go ahead, Peter. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> man, that proves it, man. It's him, it's the guy. But what's the devil doing here in New Jersey? What are you talking about, Tony? I think he lives here. All right, but well, what's he doing here in this house? Let, let, let's call Norman. It's his cousin. He should know. Uh, Tony, I think I know. I mean, there's only one reason the devil goes someplace, man, and everyone knows it. He's come for one of us. Get out of here. No, Tony, I mean it, man. Look, man, I watch the news. The question is who? Peter's house. Yeah, so what? Uh, J Jake's the one with the chest pains. Oh, 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 no way, no way, fellas. Hey, they're all gone, man. I mean, really, I never felt so good. Hey, guys. Norman's not home. Is anything wrong? We just tried to call Norman. Norman's not home sick. Norman's not home, period. Yeah. What do you got to say about that, huh, Mr. 666? Norman's out visiting a sick uncle. Excuse me. Make that a dead uncle. You mean you really are him? Uh, I guess I am, Tony. And all that jazz about being Norman's cousin, that was just a scam? Well, <laughs> I guess I should have said something sooner. I knew you were going to make a fuss, though. And I didn't want to spoil a good card game. Thanks a lot, pal. Thanks for sitting in and taking our money. No, oh, come on. The money you can keep. Uh, no, it's not uh, about uh, money. It's the principle of the thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, a guy wants to sit in and play poker with some guys, he should come up and say, uh, you know, hello, hi, I'm the Prince of Darkness. Can I sit in for a few hands? You're right. I apologize. I apologize. But trust me, you can keep the money. You all need it more than I do. All except one of you. Uh, whom might that be? Yes. Oh, oh, man. Give us a break, will you? It's one thing being a devil. It's another thing being a total jerk. Yeah, now, come on. Which one of us is it? It's Jake, right? Because that thing he did at Pete's bachelor party, right? Right? Can you take a hike, Tony. I gave each of them girls new shoes. Oh, look, it's because of my wife walking out of me. You know, I know I was yelling and screaming at her too much, but... Uh, you know, it hardly seems fair, uh, you know, that I get a hot seat down there with my name on it just because a little screaming and yelling. Seems fair to me. Shut up. Just don't you tell All me to right, shut gentlemen, up. Gentlemen, gentlemen, sure. please. We're all card players, right? Huh? Why don't we make a little game of it? Each one of you pick a card. And the highest card wins. Right? Tony, pick a card. Huh? What about Marty there? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. Uh, isn't he still in the bathroom? Yeah, he's probably still in there reading the back of my Mr. Bubble Bottle. Marty loves to read. <laughs> Marty would pick a low card anyway. There are some people that are just too innocent to corrupt. Not like you, gentlemen. Tony, pick a card. Force the card like those magic guys do. You knew it was me all the time, didn't you? Guys, I had a great time. Thanks a lot. Peter and I have to go now. No. No. Peter. I ain't going. Not yet. Peter, you really don't have any choice in the matter. Come on. It's late. Uh, hold it, hold it, hold it there, guy. Uh, I think what Peter's trying to say is uh, maybe he needs a fighting chance there. I'm afraid, gentlemen, uh, that's just not the way that it's done. Tony is right. It's the honorable thing, and it is done among men such as us. I mean, it may not be the way you do it in hell where you come from, but up here in New Jersey, we do things a little different. What do you suggest? Well... You and me, one on one, one hand, winner takes all. Right, right. Come on, fella. What you gotta lose, huh? Chances are you're gonna win anyway, right? What the hell? It's Friday, and I can sleep late tomorrow. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it. Our buddy Peter here is betting his immortal soul. What are you putting up? 18 bucks. It figures. Six plus six plus six equals 18. No way. 19. Whoa. That's telling him, Pete. <laughs> 19. I believe it was my deal. Dealer's okay. choice. Uh -huh. I call the game. Uh -huh. Low ball. What's that? What, what's slow ball? In regular poker, high hand wins, right? Right. In low ball, low hand wins, see? So you don't want any good cards. Look, in low ball, one pair beats two pair. No pair, no matching cards at all beats a pair. So you want as many cards in your hand as possible that are different. You don't want any cards that are alike. Like sixes. If you've been getting three big, nasty sixes like Nick's been doing all night... Then you might as well pack your tent and go home. What do you say, <laughs> Nicky baby? Give it up, devil. You might as well. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Devil to you. Um, see this guy here? This is a man's man here. This is a man I'd be proud to call my friend. What's going on? Uh, Nick's the devil and Peter's playing. Uh, how much? 
19 bucks. Oh, that's if Pete wins. If Pete loses, Nick there gets to take his soul. There it is. You got it. what he's got underneath there. I mean, he might have a fourth six, in which case you win, right? I mean, he could have a fourth six under there, in which case no, your four fives will no. beat his four. Tony, Tony, do you know the odds against something like that happening? A million to one. No more. Let's go, Peter. Nobody move until Peter and I have gone. I don't get it. What's this card mean? Don't touch my card! what you've done there. Yeah, it was an end run out of bounds, you ask me. Let me tell you, it's not the way to go around earning somebody's respect in this part of the country, Just and that's a fact! Gentlemen, I'm sorry, I really am. I couldn't help myself. I'm the devil. What do you expect? Yeah, sure, sure, Okay, sure. okay, okay. There, I've made it up to you. This is not standard operating procedure, but never let it be said that I am not a generous man. Peter, thank you for your hospitality. Maybe I can host the next game. I'll try to make sure that each one of you is invited. Good night, gentlemen. Hey, hey guys, come on in here, come quick. Look at all this stuff! I think I died and went to heaven! <laughs> oh, the fridge is loaded! Oh, well, all right! What are we waiting for? Let's dig in! Hey, Jake, that Dick's not such a bad guy after all, huh? Maybe not. But I wouldn't want him to marry my sister. Oh? Is your sister getting married? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. That Nick sure has a weird sense of humor. Yeah, but I'll say one thing for him. He's got a whole lot of class. Mm. So, what is this anyway, huh? Is this a poker game or a hen party? Are we here to talk or are we here to play cards? Uh, okay. Hey, Marty, you deal. What do I be? How about some five-card stud? Oh, oh, right, good no. game, five-stud. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, guys. What about it? Still want to go fishing Sunday morning? 
Uh, I don't know, Tony. The old lady's been bugging me to go to church. Church? Yeah, and I figure this Sunday I might go, you know, to appease her. You couldn't know. hurt. How about you, Peter? You want to go fishing Sunday? I was thinking of taking a drive up in upstate New York, you know. The wife's up there staying with the mother, and I just thought I might kind of pop in, you know, give her a thrill. First day, Spets. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Nick still owes you 19 bucks. Forget it. With all the food in there, I'm calling it even. <laughs> There's an old saying, oft told but seldom heeded, never deal with the devil. But if by chance you must, it's nice to know he can be a good sport. Just a friendly game of cards among a friendly group of guys who have just come back from the Twilight Zone.